braised chicken in a red wine sauce. All right, guys, let's have a look at our Maison Plus. Pause the video so you can get it all sorted. Then let's get back to it. Let's uh, get all our base vegetables cut first. Uh, cut our cocktail onions into quarters. We're gonna cut our mushrooms into nice little wedges. Good, good chunky size. Then we're gonna cut our bacon into uh, lardons, which means like little battens. Little bacon battens, lardons. So we've got all our base ingredients sorted. Let's uh, prepare our chicken. So we've got a whole chicken. We want to remove the wishbone. So you want to go through the neck cavity and scrape either side and you'll start feeling the bone making a funny noise. And you're going to pop your fingers in it, up and down, and then you're going to pull the wishbone out. This is going to help us carve through the breast a little bit later on. So we're going to take the little winglets off. We're going to take the whole leg off. And just dislocating the hip there, around the oyster, and then through the back leg there, just through the hip joint. Okay, we'll do that again. Just pop the hip joint in, right around the oyster there, through the back, along the leg, and then through the hip joint. Now we're going to do the breasts. We're going to go down one side of the keel. Let's have a closer look. And then we're just going to run our boning knife along the rib cage of the chicken carcass. And then just run it through the shoulder joint. And we've got ourselves a nice little supreme there. So down the other side of the keel. And this, having the wishbone removed here, you get a, such a bigger, plumper um, chicken supreme or chicken breast. Um, yeah. So just through the shoulder joint there. All right, so we're going to cut through the legs to get drumsticks and thighs. So we're going to go through the fat line. And it goes through the drumstick really, really nicely. You're not getting stuck on the bones. All right, so now we've butchered up our chicken. Let's get ready for our braise. So we're going to get our chicken pieces and we're going to dust them in seasoned flour. Okay, this is going to help protect the flesh of the chicken, but also help thicken the sauce a little bit towards the end as well. It's going to help have some nice um, colouring and some flavouring. So a nice hot pan with some vegetable oil, and then place our drumsticks, our thighs, our little wings, and give them a good caramelise. We want nice golden chicken here and that's really going to help richen the flavor of your sauce and um, develop the flavor so you get nice rich color rich flavor so this takes a little bit of time so be patient speed it up for your for your viewing purposes and then just towards the end of the coloring of the chicken I add the bacon because nice you know, golden bacon, rendering a bit of that fat out and stuff really develops the flavor of the bacon as well. And then once I've got my chicken, it's nice and golden. The color's really nice there. That's it, and I'm gonna start putting it into my braising pan. So we try and get it all nice and colored. It's looking good. We're going to pop them all into our nice little braising pan and then straight after we're going to look at popping all the rest of the vegetables into the fry pan just to soak up all that nice little oil the little sediments off the bottom of the pan just to help increase that flavor so put your bigger pieces at the bottom because that's where a lot of the heat's going to be generated from and then the top pieces that can be your sort of smaller pieces of the chicken. So we've got a little bit of bacon in there, a little bit of oil and fat that's been rendered off searing it. Like a French. Pull all that flavor off the pan like -like. through our vegetables, mushrooms, or whatever. Nice and 
sometimes we think we've got a lot of it off, we're going to pour our red wine into the pan and deglaze. That's going to get off that real hard stuck stuff. The the that's, the that's all flavour, that's all colour. Yeah, that's what really gets that real depth of flavour in the braised dishes is getting all those nice little sediments in it off the bottom. Brown chicken stock. Add that and we're going to bring that up to the boil. Add your rosemary. Rosemary can be added in at this time, it's what they call a hard herb. So it can really develop the flavour and we'll save the parsley to the next meal. Hot, pour in our braising liquid, pour it over our chicken. Once we've got it up to a nice little simmer, pop the lid on it. About 175 degrees for about an hour. This is what a lot of people would call like a casserole or something like that. But in actual fact, this is a, what we call a braised item because we're using uh, whole joints of chicken and stuff. All right, so from here, we're gonna assess how thick our liquid is. As we can see, it's still a little bit thin and we have 25 grams of butter and 25 grams of flour that we've mixed together earlier and I've popped in the fridge to firm up. <clears throat> so then I'm just gonna strain the liquid off, pop the chicken and vegetables just to the side and then just focus on the sauce and finishing that. So here's our, what we call a bourmanier, which is equal parts butter and flour. And as I'm bringing the sauce up to the simmer, I'm not trying to do it really rapidly. I'm just trying to do it gently because I don't want to cause any lumps or anything in my sauce. Okay, slowly add the bourmanier. It's just coming to the simmer here now. And then once we're happy with the sauce, we pour it back over the chicken. And then we're just gonna give it a light stir just to fill in all those parts. Bit of chopped parsley, light little stir just to fold it in through the bottom. And you're just getting all these lovely rich flavours. The smokiness from the bacon, the earthiness from the mushroom, the onions, the parsley. This is a delicious 